Hey guys, how you doing this? Uh, it's Johnny. I'm excited to be here doing a live stream. Again, another spontaneous one. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, teaching you this lesson today. That uh, It's going to help you a lot, actually. Uh, we're going to get some questions going as well. I know I'm going to be talking about... Um, I'm really going to be talking about the concept of uh, enjoying the process of, uh, of anything of life, of talking to women, anything, playing video games, uh, socializing, spending time with your family, uh, spending time with your girlfriend, running your business, helping your clients, public speaking, social media, going for a walk, going to the gym, swimming, weight training, uh, watching DVDs, watching boxing, watching films, having a deep conversations with your friend, uh, being yourself, doing the things that you love. Um, that, hey, that Tom guy. So um, where do I start? It's uh, so much to talk about. I feel, I feel paralyzed in, in a good way. In that I want to share so much with people, but I want to make sure that uh, I don't get too emotional and end up going off topic. Um, Hey, Johnny, I took action about three days ago. I approached a girl and gave her a hug, and she gave me back action to get out of my comfort zone as building confidence. Well done. Good for you. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy today, and I'm going to get myself um, some juice. I'm thirsty, and I'm going to be sharing um, something that's been life-changing for me and for my clients over the years. Uh, I experienced it today. It gave me a lot of answers to a lot of problems that, I have that we have so let me know where you're coming from subscribe to the channel uh, don't be shy leave a comment in the live chat I'll answer your question we'll have a really good conversation today we'll have a good connection we'll have fun we'll enjoy the process and then we'll just see how things go all right I'm just gonna get a drink I'll be back in a sec So I always give it a couple of minutes before I get into the talk so more people can come onto the live stream um, because the more the merrier and then we get a lot of questions going and a lot of you I know already you come on the streams regularly. So um, I don't know, sometimes I don't know if, it, if it's relevant for me to talk about what I've been doing in my life. People are probably really fascinated by that. I don't know if I think that's relevant. I may touch on it. Hey, Johnny, can you help me a little with American girls versus other countries? It's sort of a limiting belief of mine. Uh, I'll do my best, I'm not promising, because I can only do so much from the live stream, but sure, fire ahead. It's a coincidence that you've mentioned American girls. Um, because I met an American girl two days ago uh, in London on the street. Uh, we kissed, actually. That was uh, unplanned on Valentine's Day. I mean, um, anyway, just a coincidence. So um, keep your questions coming. What I'll do is don't worry about interrupting me because I multitask. So I'll, I'll do my talk. I'll share the concept of today. And then I'll answer your questions as well. So I'll go back and forward. So listen to this, right? I don't know if any of you like video games, any of you like FIFA, especially the new FIFA 2019. I hated video games for the last 10 years. I used to be a gamer. You know, in my teens, I used to play FIFA, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Pro Evolution, Final Fantasy, all the games. I got hooked on it. And then for some reason, when I got to 19, 20, I totally went off video games and I got into girls. Uh, my main focus now, my passion and excitement was pick up, was going out and meeting women. So I put all my energy into pick up. And I think unconsciously, when I used to play video games a lot, it was because I was a little bit socially um, afraid, a bit, a bit shy, a bit introverted. 
and going out and meeting new people was a bit scary for me then. Uh, but, a, but I still loved video games. But anyway, so my brother's uh, into video games and his friends, other stuff. He plays FIFA, so I thought, you know what, let me have a go. I've been spending a lot of time with at my family's place and my brother has his friends around and they play FIFA and I thought, let me just have a go. And um, I just enjoyed it so much because I haven't played for 10 years. I wasn't very good at it because I'm out of practice. But we played the whole night. I stayed over. And I realized that it wasn't, it didn't matter so much that it was a video game or that it was FIFA. What really mattered is that I was really enjoying spending time with my brother. And that means, that means everything to me. But I was enjoying playing the game. The game became enjoyable. And I lost my first eight games because I'm playing on the hardest level. I'm playing people online that are experts and I haven't played in 10 years. But then I eventually won a game and I started to score and start, I'm getting used to it and I just got addicted to it. So I came when I was like, wow, I've never, I haven't enjoyed video games like this for years. I didn't play them for 10 years. I was like, that's the whole point because I enjoyed it. I didn't put pressure on myself. And then I was like, wow, that, that was the same way. That's how I became successful with pickup. That's how I even, you know, I'm talking about years ago and in present. That's how I got to where, where I got to because I, I um, originally went out and struggled with women like all guys do. I, I struggled with everything, erectile dysfunction, social anxiety, low self-esteem, pornography addictions, uh, prostitutes, occasional drugs, getting into fights when I was younger, all these issues because I, I wasn't, um, I was feeling lonely. I couldn't get a girlfriend. And when I started to enjoy going out and approaching women, I started to get really good results. And then I got laid and I got a girlfriend and I built my confidence. Then my anxiety went down and I started to teach people. And then I started to do public speaking. And I started to just love my life. And then when I enjoyed it, the results came. And I think the problem with a lot of people today, and I have this sometimes, is we put too much pressure on ourselves, especially men. So men, most men will say, I'm useless. I'm no good. I've got social anxiety. I'm shy. I've, I don't get laid a lot. I have, I have insecurities of women. I don't know what to say to them. And then when they go out and speak to women, if they don't get a number straight away or a girlfriend or get laid, they, they say to themselves that they're a loser. But that's actually not true. You're not a loser because you didn't get a result. So the concept is focusing on not being outcome dependent. So even when I do a live stream now, if I do the live stream and I put a lot of pressure on myself, I start telling myself, if I allow my mind to tell me when I'm, I'm successful, people know Johnny Berber, I'm this, I'm that. Um, the live stream needs to be great. I need to have people really liking what I'm saying. It needs to get a lot of views, a lot of people. I'm not going to enjoy it. I'm going to end up putting way too much pressure on myself. If I just say, you know what, I'm going to do the best I can today. I'm going to teach, do what comes natural. I'm going to have fun. And if it works out, great. If it doesn't, then it, I'm not going to let it ruin my day. And I'm not going to let the pressure. So I'm enjoying it. I'm calm, relaxed. and. This concept that I, I discovered years ago with women and going out and approaching me on the street and learning the day game and breaking through all the problems that most of the guys were complaining with, when I started to teach this all around the world, not only was I successful, I mean, I've helped men all around the world to become successful. I've been successful in business, financially, everything, relationships, confidence, public speaking. Uh, now I'm going to the gym, I'm enjoying it. I'm getting in, in the best shape. I'm finally getting... You know, muscles, when I was younger, I was skinny. I couldn't put any weight on, put too much pressure. So I would say that you guys, you really want to stop putting pressure on yourself and saying, I'm this, I'm that, I'm a loser, I'm no good, I've got anxiety. Stop telling yourself all these things and just enjoy it and then it will come, you know? Let's read the questions. And, you know, all these things like, you know, like you're saying, Grant, feeling resentful towards men, that get girls easily, but if you think in such a way, you're going to hate them, you're going to hate yourself, you're going to hate the women, your results ain't going to change, they're going to get worse. So if you can if you can just start to let go of the hate towards other people and the jealousy and focus on you and focus on loving your life or finding something that you enjoy, you all will get better results because that's just how people are. You know, That's just how the world is. That's how things are valued. If you're having fun and smiling and enjoying it and gen being genuine with it, people will generally be more attracted to you. Women are no different. Uh, so it doesn't cost anything. 
you don't have to be uh, the best person in the world to apply this. You can just start applying it now as a discipline. And it's hard to explain this on a live stream. It's hard for me to teach someone how to surrender and enjoy what they're doing and let go of the outcome. Because think about it, guys. Everything we do usually has an outcome attached to it. If I play my friend at FIFA and I don't beat him, he's the winner, I'm the loser, and I don't feel good. If, if I don't make money in my business every day, every week, I'm, I'm a loser. I didn't get clients. I didn't make money. That means that I'm, I'm poor. If I um, go out today and I don't get a number from the street and I don't get laid, and I don't get a, hot, get a hot girl, I'm a loser. Look at this awful, like, look at what we tell ourselves. It's not good. If, I, um, if I'm not the center of attention with my family or with my friends, that means they don't like me. That means I'm paranoid about them. That means they, they don't value me. All, all this negative way of thinking is not good. Instead of just saying, I'm going to stop trying to make everyone like me. I'm just going to be myself and just appreciate people, appreciate who I am. And just work on myself. Obviously, improve yourself. It changes everything. It changes the results. Then you get the results. Because if you don't enjoy the process, think about it. When you're going out and meeting women, there's a lot of time that you have to put in. Going up to a guy having a conversation takes a lot of energy. So if you're not enjoying all of that, you don't you hate your life. So then you're just waiting for the outcome. So you might be waiting for two years till you get a result of a girl. So what are you going to do? You're going to hate yourself for two years. Are you going to hate speaking to people for two years? That's a lot of suffering, a lot of time lost. If you enjoy it and you love it, it wouldn't take you two years. Because a woman is attracted to a man who is happy, enjoying himself, smiling. Uh, and that's really the secret to my success. That's how I've done this the results on YouTube. What you see is very natural practice, you know. It's, it's really important. Let's go for some questions. Hey, Johnny. Have you had success with Russian girls? Yeah, I have. What's your success tips to deal with them? Thanks. I would say with Russian girls, patience. Number one is patience. Don't be desperate. Don't try too hard. Don't keep pushing, push. Try. Step back. Be yourself. Be honest. Make them laugh. Don't be uh, intimidated by their Russianness, by their stereotypically surface based sort of hardiness. Relax. Be yourself. Have fun. Take your time. Don't be in a rush to get laid. Don't be in a rush to kiss the Russian girl. Then they will trust you. And then you'll then they will be drawn to you. That's the that's the better advice for Russian girls. Hey, Batgan, how you doing? Um, what else we got here? So, um, how do I deal with haters? I just um, don't engage in it. I get some hate from time to time. I'm too focused on the positives. I spend too much time in my past life being a hater myself and then realizing that haters are insecure. Haters are jealous. Haters don't value themselves. Haters are not working. Haters are not enjoying themselves. Maybe they've gone through things. So just forgive them. I don't respond to them. I don't start hating them back. Ignore it. Just focus on positive. That's how I deal with it. Uh, I'm also grateful for haters that I get because without any haters, wouldn't be successful, wouldn't wouldn't learn, wouldn't 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 be a man, wouldn't toughen you up, wouldn't appreciate the your family, wouldn't appreciate the good people or the friendly people. So it's just good. Most of these problems is about relaxing, no? We're in too much of a hurry all the time, and um, if we're not present. And we're not appreciating every day or what we're doing, and you just—it's going to fuck you up, isn't it? So, if you can enjoy anything in your life, then you can enjoy the next thing. So, um, I don't want to over-explain this concept. It's really, really simple, but it can be difficult initially for people to get the hang of it until it clicks. And enjoyment is about a connection, isn't it? Can't fake that you're enjoying it. Uh, my view on meditation is, listen, if you want to meditate, meditate. If meditation helps you, great. Um, so, um, yeah, 
do it. If you enjoy it, do it. Meditating ain't going to harm anyone, isn't it? It's not illegal, so uh, go for it. But my, all of you, I'm telling you, and I'm, I write about this in my ebook. I'm writing an ebook at the moment, and I've said in all the live streams, if any of you want a pre book and get a copy of it, it will be out in about a month's time. Um, the ebook is all about enjoying the process and how to develop the mindset, how to fit, how to actually do that, how to actually go out and enjoy speaking to women, regardless of whether you get the girl, whether you don't. I spoke to a girl today. I approached a Russian girl in my area. I was at my brother's, my family, we were playing FIFA. So I nipped out to go and get some Caribbean food, some jerk chicken and rice and peas in the local area where I live. And I was eating food in the restaurant. I was finishing and I saw a girl walking past the window. I like look at her. So I quickly finished the food, said thank you to the people, left the shop, walked up and said, hey, how are you doing? Where are you from? She said, from Russia. I said, oh, I didn't expect that. I don't usually meet Russians in this part of London. We started speaking. She's attractive. I fancied her. I liked her. I asked her out for a drink. She said yes. And then she said, oh, I have to let you know that I have a boyfriend. And I said, well, in that case, it's not going to be possible for me to go out of you for a drink because you've got a boyfriend. I quite like you. I'm attracted to you. It wouldn't work. But I'm still glad I came over. She said, I'm glad you came over. I had a, we had a great conversation. I didn't walk away going, you know what, I'm a loser. I'm not good enough. There's something wrong with me. Because if you've got a boyfriend, what can I do? I did the best of what, and I enjoyed it. I came, I came away from like a winner. So a lot of the times, the concept of feeling good enough and not feeling jealous or feeling jealous is, is how you're choosing to feel about what you do. And you can go out and enjoy speaking to women. And a lot of men, their egos take over. I've seen it many times. But I've also seen it done in the right way. I see it, well, I see it for years, don't I, when I work with the clients. On the six weeks program when I'm coaching, I see this transformation that men first come to me, nervous, envious, jealous, depressed, social anxiety, addictions, problems with work, problems in family, problems with women, They've got a very nihilistic view on women, very negative. Nothing can work out for them. Johnny Barber's good. He's different to me. That guy's good and I'm not different. Then I start to say, listen, you don't need to prove anything to me. You're here. You've, you've, you've already gained my respect. You're brave. You're facing your fears. You don't have to be embarrassed in front of me. I've made all the mistakes you've made. It's okay if you get it. You don't have to do anything. Just be yourself. Talk to the girls. Enjoy it gets a number he gets another number he gets another one he enjoys it he says i can't believe how easy well, I'm, I'm re they really like me today johnny they really respond well to me she gave me a number she smiled at me yeah why wouldn't she you're a nice guy you're a good looking guy you've got a lot going for you why wouldn't she be interested oh because i thought for so many years that women don't love me they hate me it's just the wrong mindset you know wrong place um, so we don't have to be heavy. We don't have to be stressed, nervous, anxious, angry, jealous, hateful when we're going out speaking to women. We, as a matter of fact, you need to get out of that very quickly. And I know this sounds a little bit new age and it can sound really cheesy, but I'm being honest. You've got to, you've got to get in that place of love, however you do it. Meditation, sports, nutrition, laughing, joking, praying kicking the football, um, the gym, or just talking to women and building up your state, you've got to get in that place of love because if you don't get in that place of love, they won't love you. They won't want to be around you because you're too um, you're too scary, too aggressive, too negative. So um, it's getting into a flow state and you can just do it by just going, yeah, enjoy it. Before you do anything, just try this from today, guys, this exercise. Anything you're doing, just check in and say, am I enjoying this now? Am I enjoying the live stream, listening to Johnny Berber and, and learning and asking questions? If I'm not enjoying it, why am I not enjoying it? Am I angry? Am I jealous? Am I, am I being judgmental? Am I overthinking too much? Or if you are enjoying it, great, you did it. Because if you can find joy in anything, then that means you can fight in the next thing. So you attract women by finding joy. Enjoy the process. You're in joy. You know, it's in the word. Enjoy. Split the word up, E-N-J-O-Y. You're in joy. You're in a joyful place. 
you can be like that. And men think that to be in joy, they need to have a billion pounds in their bank. They think they've got to be six foot five or a rippling six pack. But you don't need to have, you don't need done anything. You don't, you don't need to be like that. You just need to be disciplined. Uh, and then, and that's why um, when, when I go swimming, it's not like, oh, I've got to be the best person in the pool. I know I'm not the best, but I do the best I can. I enjoy it. I enjoy the swimming, the breaststroke. I'm learning, you know, swimming and, and, and being in the water and, and feeling the water. I, just enjoying it. Fucking hell, just chilling out. Uh, you know, same um, anything. If you're getting a haircut, if I go to the... Um, yeah, I, I missed out on Paul's webinar and I wanted to see it, but I was, uh, I was with my, my family, my brother. I really like Paul. He's a he's a really great guy. I've interviewed him. I've met Paul, and um, it's funny that you you mentioned it because I was I was thinking about him because um, he, he's I really like him. He's a good guy. I think his teachings are great. I think anyone um, wanting to learn should definitely listen to what Paul was saying. He he's got a lot of experience with women, so he's a great guy, man. Uh, I look forward to probably connecting with Paul uh, this year. So. Um, it's just about in, enjoying it. And then when you enjoy it, this is the crazy thing, right? When you're having fun talking to women, you naturally do all of the right techniques that make women attracted to you and that gets you the girl. Then you get laid, you know? It's, it makes sense. I always use it, like, in most cases, I always got laid when I was having fun and I didn't expect it. I didn't think she was going to sleep with me. I didn't even know we were going to get together. I had no idea. No idea whatsoever. All I knew that I was just going to go out spontaneously and talk to women and be honest and genuine. I think if you're not being honest and genuine with what you're doing, you're you're lying to yourself, you're harming yourself, you're selling yourself short. Uh, so honesty is a big part of it, and um, this takes discipline. Most people who don't enjoy stuff is because they've got an undisciplined mind. They're not working on themselves. But like I said earlier on Facebook, some people are just naturally joyous. They don't need personal development. They don't need coaching with women. They don't need anything. They just enjoy it. They, everything they touch turns to gold. But I'm not naturally like that. And probably, I'm assuming maybe a lot of you guys are not like that. Uh, I don't know anything about Gary Vernachek. Uh, um, I've heard his name. I know he's famous. I haven't watched any of his stuff. But I'm sure, I'm sure he's very good. I'm sure he's very good. I'm sure he's helping a lot of people. So good luck to him. Um, and when you enjoy, you're not jealous. If you guys know that. When you're having fun and you feel good and you feel loved, you wouldn't be jealous of anyone else because you, you feel good. So work on uh, feeling good. It takes practice and sometimes you just naturally get it. Um, and I do that when I do the live streams. Um, I meditate on that. Every, every second I speak, I ask you questions and I stop and reflect. I get just not going to go, I have to overdo stuff, but I just check in and get present again. I'm like, wow, I'm here on the live stream. I'm actually talking to men all around the world. They, they appreciate me. I appreciate them. I'm helping them. I'm telling them the truth. I'm sharing stuff with them that I know will get them results. It's got me results. It's got loads of my clients. They'll, they know it is. They can sense it. I'm telling them the truth. They know it. And if they doubt it, that's fine too. But I'm here. I'm doing it. And it's it's a, it's a miracle. I'm, I was a shy guy um, years ago. I didn't know I could do this. Now I'm not. Uh, you know. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. I've got a free event that is almost sold out that you guys are welcome to come. It's next Sunday. It's called Take Action. I'll give you the details if any of you want to come along. Uh, if Clue is in the title, it's all about enjoying talking to women. It's all about building confidence. It's all about facing fear. And it's all about taking action. Because when you take action and you enjoy it, you enjoy the process, you get the results. So here's my email address. Also, as well, obviously, if any of you want help, want dating coaching or confidence coaching, you want to work with me, um, then you can email me and we can see if you're right for, for me, for my coaching. So there's my email address if you want to book. Uh, it's on uh, Sunday, 24th. It's in central London. It's two hours. It starts at 1 p.m. It ends at 3 p.m. And we're going to have a, a talk, a Q&A. We're going to be doing exercises. And then we're going to have a, a social after. You're going to meet great people. It's good for people if you've got social anxiety. This is how you overcome it. Yeah. We're going to have tea, coffee. 
great conversation. I'm going to help you with women, you know. So um, that's going to be great. If anyone wants to do the six weeks transformation program, which is my best coaching program, it's one on one. It's where I take you out for six weeks and teach you how to meet in the trap room from the street and build your confidence and overcome your social anxiety and get on dates. You can you can email me at johnnyberg at aagmail.com. Uh, if you need to if you need to phone me, I'm friendly. You can phone me if you need to talk about the coaching or any questions. You can email me. I can tell you how it works, price, uh, all those things. Um, we can, um, yeah, I, I'm happy to talk. Or you can jump on a Skype call with me. I wouldn't charge you for a 10, 15 minute call. If you're really interested in about getting my coaching, working with me, um, then we can do it that way. So whatever works for you, I'm, I'm easy going. I can do it on Skype, talk to you, I can talk on the phone. Um, whichever way I'm just here to help you and I'm here to have fun which is what I'm doing uh, so yeah hey and I just yeah thanks for everyone who, who's come online today keep your questions coming what I'm talking about is the concept of enjoying the process in your life and with meeting women instead of putting pressure on yourself and saying I have to get results and if I don't get results I'm not good enough that's not that's the worst attitude to have and most people have got it obviously it's hard sometimes because you're human and, and of course we want things, we have expectations, but if we are so, um, uh, if there's so much pressure we put on ourselves to get those expectations, we end up hating the very thing that we want to love and get, which is ourselves and women or, or success or money or, or anything, anything, anything that you want to achieve. If it, you know, if you go to the gym and say, I hate working out until I get big, massive biceps then i'm not good enough then you've ruined all your time in the, gym. the whole point is to enjoy the gym and then the results come eventually uh yeah i, I teach that on my six-week program slim shady um that's a long conversation and that's something that um i need to explain in person and to you know get you to actually demonstrate and and do in in practice but my methods um, is all that, you know, even even getting sexy from a girl. If you're too much thinking about that and putting pressure, you probably won't get laid. This is why probably your dates are not leading to that because you're too outcome dependent. You're putting a lot of pressure on yourself and you're putting it on the girl. She can sense it. She's, that's what will make them change their mind. So you can get the result if you can let go of it. Of course you want it and you work towards it, but you enjoy the process. You enjoy the date. If you enjoy the date, you get laid. If you're not enjoying your dates at the moment, that's why you're not getting laid. It explains it. So this is a concept that needs to be practiced and understood. can only be understood through being practicing, obviously. Uh, so if anyone, um, if any of you want to pre-book my new ebook that I'm writing, which is how to over how to conquer anxiety and meet the track women from the street or shy guys, something like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the title. Then you can pre-book it here on my website. I'll give you the link. It's free to join, and the ebook's gonna be free. It's one. It's the first book I've been writing. It's it's beautiful. It's full of value. It's full of all my experience steps. Uh, sorry, Johnny. Uh, so if you go to the, click this link. Uh, it will, this link here I'll put in the chat will take you to my website and you can enter your email. There's a box. You'll get a free video course as well, a lot of free stuff. And then um, you'll you'll get notified when it's out. It'll be out probably next month. So let me know if you want to come to the Take Action event. I've got loads coming already. Uh, awesome, Chris. Glad you like it. And uh, just try it, guys. Honestly, try it. It's in the most simple things. I don't know, do you guys like video games? Just enjoy it when you're playing your computer game. Do you like people? Do you like friends? Do you like watching my YouTube videos? Try and enjoy them more. Try and relax more and be calmer. Uh, enjoy the gym. Just start enjoying what you're doing. Enjoy yourself. Don't take the pressure off. And then the results that you want in your life, they will start coming to you uh, quicker and easier because you're not putting this heavy pressure which creates stress anxiety and it kind of makes you unattractive in in certain aspects
uh, yeah, I've got business advice. Uh, what, what do you need? Uh, what do you need help with? Uh, that's another program that I run. I run a six weeks transformation program, and uh, I tend to help men um, in all aspects of their life with women, with business, with career relationships. So, if anyone wants uh, mentorship, uh, because I only offer a limited amount of coaching, I only work with select uh, people that have got the right attitude. I try and help everyone but I realize that I can't uh, coach everyone because not everyone's coachable or, or right for my coaching when right mindset so if you think you are we can um, talk on a phone call on an email and then we can um, work out whether I can help you or not help you to reach your goals and whether it be possible for us to work together so I can coach you and get you great results and you can just do that by emailing me it's my email address Johnny Berber at 88achievement.com there you go so um, what's my take on traveling already solo and holiday I think it's great I think uh, traveling is life changing I haven't traveled solo I, I traveled some you know places outside London I've traveled abroad with friends I think it I think, again, if you enjoy it, I think it will be life-changing, so go for it. You're welcome, Julio. Uh, thanks for commenting on my videos. I'm glad that you appreciate my videos or my work. So uh, you're welcome, man. So what's you guys' thoughts? Did it resonate the talk today? Did it make some sense? Did it make you realize, yeah, I'm not. Maybe I'm not enjoying my life. Maybe I'm not enjoying speaking to women. Maybe I'm putting way too much pressure on myself to get a certain outcome or to get the girl or to be famous, to be popular, to succeed all the time. It, you know, it, it's, it creates a lot of pain when you don't have to um, feel that way. Any more questions we've got? Anyone else um, wants to ask a question and hasn't answered it, go ahead. It's made me think of my legacy, Johnny. What's yours? That's good, man. My legacy is just to enjoy the process, is to enjoy being myself, appreciate my family, you, you guys, my friends, what, everything that I do in my life. Um, just keep being me, keep uh, helping people, having fun. Just the small things, and then the big things will come from that, the other goals. So, so a big thing for me, for my own mental health and to stay positive and happy and successful and helping other people is to enjoy what I'm doing, is to enjoy the process of daily living. That, that's, that's my legacy. Oh yeah, I'm glad that you like the honest approach. I like it as well. I find it's the best way. Well, you could get her out of your, you could get around like-minded people. I run a, I run a free event. And it's like-minded people. So uh, if you can get to it in London, you're welcome to come. You're invited. It's free. Uh, it would help you to get over your social anxiety. But you can overcome social anxiety by finding joy. If you find a lot of joy around people, you'll have less social anxiety around them, less paranoia, less insecurity, less fear. You'll feel more love. You'll feel you'll, you'll like people more. And you'll feel more relaxed about speaking to them. You'll feel more excited about talking to them. Yeah, loneliness and depression, I understand it. We've all experienced it. I've felt like that as well. But I find you tend to feel like that again when you're not enjoying anything. You're not allowing yourself to enjoy it. You can change it and, and just find joy in small things. Just take gradual steps until the joy starts to build up. So it doesn't always have to be women. I've said that before. A lot of my joy didn't come just from meeting women. It come from teaching. It come from spending time with my brother, it come from laughing with my mates, it come from um, watching a film, it come from having a meal, going for a walk, it come from a lot of other avenues, gym, especially the gym, 
especially boxing, especially watching other people that are kind of passionate like myself, that have been successful and they've they've got a lot of wisdom. So you can find a lot of joy. You know, I'm sure that's what you get when you watch my videos. It makes you feel happy and, and not like you're not on your own and inspired and the same as me or however you want to feel something you said. It made you think of your legacy. So find ways to make yourself happy. And then you can find ways to make other people happy. If I make myself happy, I can make a lot of people around me happy and positive. And then things go well. You know, and there's nothing wrong with goals. There's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, I want to go out and get laid. I want to go out and, and meet a girlfriend. I want to go out and get some dates. I want to, I want to make some money in my business. I want, to, I want to travel. There's nothing wrong with that. That's great. But it's just saying, don't, don't, don't make that, um, you know, don't make that your religion. I'm 35. 35 years of age don't make it that you know, i have to do it and because i don't have to do this live stream today i haven't got a gun to my head i don't have to do it the channel is still going to go up this the views videos get viewed all around the world i wanted to do it today i wanted to do the live stream i wanted to do this it's free i don't charge anyone for this um people charge a lot for these kind of things and i just enjoy it and do it you know i don't think too much about it I'm really glad. That's how I want people to feel as well. Like you were saying, General Spoon, I want people to watch my videos and then feel really relieved and, and loved and happy. And, and like they're not on their own. There is hope for them. Because that's, that's what I was always looking for, you know. Mindset, again, like and I'm looking for a girlfriend, but I can't find her. You know, I understand that, but you will find her when you start enjoying it and, and, and enjoying her. Um, it, it seems like you're getting there. So keep going, find more joy, and you're going to find her. The age I started approaching women was uh, about 22, 22 years of age. Again, like I said earlier, these expectations, it's obviously it's human that Tom guy, the fear of you know running out of time and getting too old, but I'm sure you're not that old. I'm sure you're not 65 or 70 or 80. So you're still young, you're young enough. If you had to boil success with women down to skill, what would that skill be? It would be what I'm saying now, Bob. It would be enjoyment. It would be joy. Men that can, men that generally are happy when they're speaking to women. That is it. If you can get to that place, you you've cracked it. You don't need all the lines. You don't need this and that and all these things that we we think we need. So many things. They're all a bonus. That's it. Look at my videos. Look at the client testimonials. Look at most of the clients laughing, having fun. That's what attracts the girl. We're all kind of like that. We're all we're not we're all the same, really, in a way like that. We're attracted to people when they're happy, you know. Um, so, um, you know, and you know my you know my saying that you work hard. So um, it's joy, man. It's happiness and joy. Because no one can let's think about it, right? You know, when you feel good and you feel good about yourself and you're happy and smiling and you, and you know that you're, whatever you're doing in life, it's none of my business. No one can really hurt you that much and reject you because you don't feel rejected when you're happy. But when you're, when you're down and depressed and you don't feel good enough and then someone, a woman turns you down, it can, it can hurt because you, you, you feel like you can't rely on anyone else to make you happy but her. We've got to change that script and it's got to be, no, no, I'm not waiting for her to make me happy. I'm going to make me happy. And then she can make me a bit more happy and I can make her happy. But if we just rely on her to make us happy or anyone, we're in darkness. We're in, we're in a big place of insecurity all the time and, and jealousy, all those negativities. Well, the only way... I can understand that you're terrified to meet her because social anxiety makes it scary to meet people and speak to them in a high contact. 
But if you can change the way that you think about social anxiety and meeting people, you can actually really enjoy meeting them. And then you'll be really, you probably think, I can't believe how friendly people are. I can't believe how much I can trust them. I can't believe that they're not judgmental, that they're like me. You just got to change the way that you think and view it, and then it will get better. And then the social anxiety will eventually leave you. Bean sauce, how you doing, my friend? All right, Giza, how are things? Things are great. Things have never been better. Just been talking to the guys today about one concept, very simple, of enjoying the process, enjoying playing FIFA video games, enjoying talking to your mate, enjoying the gym, enjoying the food, enjoying talking to women, not putting pressure, having no pressure that I must get a result. I must get people to like me. I must get the number. She must sleep with me. It's not a good mindset. It will ruin everything. Enjoy the process and then the results will come to you. What age did you first get a girlfriend? I was um, first girlfriend I got 22 years of age, you know, so it's kind of late for me. Yeah, if we can take the pressure off, we've got joy. All of you don't want to feel pressure. No one like, obviously, we need a certain amount of pressure is good to motivate you but not massive amounts where you're burdened, you know? I can't really say what nationality would I most prefer because of my experience, it changes and it's not really based on the nationality, it's more the person, it's more the individual. So I can't really, really say that, but it's a good question. If you stop talking to girls, do you get rusty for a period of time? Anything, anything that you do for a long time that you're good at, if you stop for long, of course you get rusty, but you never fully lose it. You don't fully lose all of your experience and knowledge and confidence. It, it, you can lose some confidence, but you'll never fully lose everything. And then you just got to practice and then your, your level will go up again. Uh, that's what I found. But yeah, anxiety can be due to a lack of practice. You know, If you don't speak to people for a long time, you're probably going to be quite socially anxious inside when you're around them. If you're meeting people every week, you get used to it, you get more confident because you, you, you do it more. You, you, know, you build a, um, a sense of familiarity. So if you apply hard work, if you apply practice and if you enjoy the process, you generally love what you're doing. You, it sounds kind of, it sounds weird because if I'm playing FIFA on a video game and I am, I'm enjoying it and loving it. I know this sounds a little bit deep and cheesy, but that, then you love yourself, isn't it? If I'm making a YouTube video and in those moments, I'm, I just, I'm loving every moment of it, making the video, speaking in front of the camera, get involved in whatever I'm doing because I love it and enjoy it. I love myself. If you love speaking to your friend because you care about him, you like him, you feel like you can speak to him in a way that you can't speak to other people the way that you can him and you can connect with him. You love your friend, you care about him, then you love yourself. So um, I'm really encouraging men to find love in their life so it can totally get you out of darkness. And I feel a lot of love and a lot of appreciation when I'm helping other people to make them feel like that and inspire them. Then I feel good about doing that. Um, but it's quite easy to, because we're all human as well. I'm not saying that I, of course we all make mistakes, me as well. Um, that's fine. So sometimes we can fall into really resenting what we're doing um, because we're having a bad day. And that's understandable, but it's not being there all the time. You can rewire the brain and rewiring the brain for me is about doing new practices and habits because the, the mind and brain and, and our thoughts and our daily habits can become very, very uh, strong. 
because we get used to them. So to break patterns, it takes mental strength. But the more you uh, practice breaking the pattern, then it gets easier. So when I first started going to swimming, it felt like life and death because swimming was something I was afraid of for many years secretly and insecure about. And I wanted to do it, but part of me resented the fact of doing it and felt intimidated by it. The first time I went to swimming, it was a big struggle, but I, I did it and got through it. It wasn't comfortable. The second time was uncomfortable. So was the third, so was the fourth, so was the fifth. On the sixth time, something clicked. I started, I found I was smiling and laughing. I felt so much joy and happiness. And now I've lost count. I go all the time. I'm going again tomorrow. So it takes time, but that's how I've done it. And that's what you're asking me, Bob. All these things I teach on the six week transformation program. I teach them on all the programs, the paid coaching programs and also the free programs because it works. It's all the things that I've embodied and learned. And I apply them in all areas of my life now. And I keep saying it and I'm excited to say it. The principles that I've learned and that I teach men to become successful women, these principles work in other areas of life that are completely separate. They work in business. They work in anything, social media, video games. So just get passionate about life. The more passion you've got, the better your life's going to be. You've got the gym. There's a lot of things men can do. Men, it's great. Most of us men, we can go to the gym, right? We can play video games. We can watch TV. We can go on YouTube. We can meet new people. We can go out and do a day game. We can um, talk about personal development. We can travel. We can eat different types of food. There's a lot of great things that you can do. You can do art. You can go to theatre. You can go to cinema. You can do public speaking. You can go to events. You can take programs. You can get... So there's a lot of things you can do in your life. Get involved and do things that you enjoy, practical things, and you'll start feeling better about yourself. You know, you can do different exercises in the gym. You can do boxing training. You can do weights. You can do aerobics. You can do running, skipping. You can do swimming. You can do jogging. So get involved, do things, you know. See, this talk flowed well, hasn't it? Because I'm in a good place. I'm positive and I'm very happy. And it makes it very, very uh, pleasurable and very easy and natural to be on the live stream and, and help people and talk to them and have fun as well because I've taken the pressure off. I don't have any pressure. I don't have any expectations that I need to do something today. Just do it. Enjoy it. Whatever happens, happens. I forgot the time. I've been speaking for 47 minutes. I didn't even notice it. I forgot. I wasn't thinking about it. So um, try it. See how where you get out of it. I get great. Um, just a lot of joy. Um, so I can't remember what to say now. That's really it. You practice it and you become aware of it and you just start enjoying things. And then um, I'll give you an example some more, right? You go into the gym, you might not feel like it at the start. You might feel depressed, you might feel anxious, you might feel stressed, you might feel pissed off, you might feel angry, you might feel a number of negative things. You go in the gym, you push yourself, then you do a workout for an hour and you start enjoying it. When you leave the gym and you shower up and you leave, you feel really good because you feel like you've achieved something. You feel relief, you get all your stress out, you feel more positive about life. And you go and get some food and you look forward to going home and watching a film or some YouTube and then the next day you're out walking down the street and you see a girl that you find attractive. And because you've, because you've been going to the gym and you've been enjoying your life, it's very easy to walk up to her and say, hi, how are you doing? I just saw you look attractive. I want to meet you. Actually, I want to go on a date with you. I want to take you out. And then she's probably likely to say yes if she's single because you're enjoying your life in other areas. That positive energy, that confidence, it transfers straight over into the approach. You guys get my drift. And then maybe a new challenge comes up in life, something that you might be scared about. So you might think, I want to challenge myself and go and do a public talk. I might want to do something on social media or a project that I've never done. But because you're doing things in your life that make you feel good and building your confidence and challenging you, it gives you so much more confidence and strength to go and pursue and do something else. So all these things are connected. 
they all affect how you feel and then you do something else that you love you know the simple things can be really enjoyable i think a lot of people forget this i think we've all felt that we're human right we've all walked down the street and we've all felt paranoid at times that people are judging us and they're evaluating us and they think we're stupid and, and they're you know but again it's it's getting out of that mindset and the more action you take the more you enjoy your life the more you start thinking like that because it's just the way you're thinking right but yeah that's kind of classic general social anxiety but you can overcome that by exercising finding things that you love and enjoy and just you know just laughing like my mate says tom just chilling out laughing at yourself not taking this I, I mean i think it's ridiculous sometimes the inner thoughts and voices that i get that we all get you know the conversation is just laughing about it and then it just takes it away that's good and just take one day at a time because when you start saying next week's got to be good next again fear pressure you know so laugh at yourself sometimes i think i'm ridiculous sometimes i coach people i've been as you guys know been teaching for a long time you know apparently i'm confident i am but i um laugh at myself sometimes because i worry about the smallest thing and then i thought and then i don't worry about them ridiculous things like my toilet got blocked and it was like it was the end of the world for me. And I had to get a plunger and then go, I unblocked my own toilet today. I felt really good about it. And I was like, it's done. It's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. The toilet being blocked. But it's just not taking things personal, you know, and having fun and enjoying it, you know. Um, and that goes for everything, doesn't it? You know, we, we generally are attracted to watching people that are enjoying what they do. That's why they're attractive. That's why I can't stop watching Boxers, I find them attractive. Uh, I'm straight man, I like women, but I mean, they're they're attractive in that, not in a sexual way. They're interesting. You you want to connect with them because they're passionate about their life and they're brave and they're and they're, and some of them are a bit strange. I think I'm a bit strange because they're different. They're interesting and they're and they're and they're outspoken and and you know and it, for all those reasons, you want to listen to them. You want to connect with them. So you you can all be like that. Everyone can be like that. Be interested in their own right. What do I do to people that are addicted to negativity? Sometimes I get really pissed off and frustrated of them, and they make me angry, and then they make me feel negative. But then what I do lately is I remove myself from them, and I stop trying. I stop getting so angry about how negative they are and how toxic they are, and I meet positive people. Uh, and I speak to people like yourself who tend to be more positive and I, I just stare around positive people. Uh, and I try and work on not being a negative person myself. So I try not to be guilty of, um, you know, criticizing people's traits that I might have myself. Gym, get down the gym. If you're feeling negative or strung out people around you, get down the gym. You're sure as hell for better after. Get into a place of love. Get positive. Just enjoy everything that you do. The little things, guys. If you can't enjoy the little things in your life, you will not enjoy the big things. So if we can't enjoy little things, it's impossible. Yeah, it's good advice. Go with the flow. Now, all these ancient teachings that our fathers tell us that we kind of ignore and we go, oh, yeah, I heard that before. Because it sounds too obvious. They're all true. Relax. Be yourself. Go with the flow. Enjoy the process. Take each day as it comes. Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, have a positive mindset. See the positive in things. Um, don't take things so personal. All these little tips, that when you embody them, they're very powerful. Uh, Sally, you didn't reply to the free show on Tech February. I did reply. Uh, you didn't show up. Uh, I showed up. All the other guys made it. What was your excuse for not coming? Because uh, there's always these excuses now. Uh, so that's untrue what you said. Um, if there's any reason that you, you couldn't come or you have problems, I'm sorry about that. But it's not my responsibility to hold people's hands. 
and take them to my event. I give you the address. Um, you know, it should be easy enough to Google and find an, an address, or you can email me. Uh, you can't email me on the day at the event saying, I, I can't find it. I'm busy doing the event. You've got to come on time. That's your responsibility. So I'm inviting you to the next one. If you want to come on, you're welcome to. Uh, the next one is next Sunday in the same place. Email me. I'll give you the address again, and you can come along. I would say another key thing as well is that just find one person. Just find one person, if you're a family member, a friend, or a mentor, or a woman that you can date, one person that you can trust, you can really get along with, you can be vulnerable around, you don't have to be perfect around them and hide. You can be yourself and, in, and you can connect with them. If you find one person in your life, then you've got a happy life. If you can find two, amazing, three, well, you're, you're sport for choice, you know, so... But at least one person in your life that you can, a loving relationship with, someone you can connect with. What do you think about emotions, mind go up and down? Like I'm the same. I'm human. My emotions, uh, but what I found is with more practice, my emotions do go up and down. Obviously, I'm a human being, but they're not as, um, I'm not as um, emotionally unstable as I used to be when I was younger. You know, if someone said something to me, if someone insulted me, I would be enraged and angry, ready to fight them. And I'm thinking about them for weeks. I'm not like that anymore. I'll get over it. Might be upset for an hour and then switch off, get over it. So mine is a bit more stable now, Chris. You can practice yours and get better. But all the things I'm saying and I teach, they it's all connected. Today's thing is about feeling good emotionally. So this is discipline. All of you have got a responsibility to make yourself feel good. No one can always do that for you. No. that's why for the last few weeks I haven't um, put some infill videos out because I didn't feel like doing it and I don't want to do it out of fear or for the sake of it I'm going to do it when I, and now I feel the love again I, I really want to um, does height matter? Um, yes and no. Yes and no. If you're shorter, but you're confident and you're enjoying your life, your height wouldn't matter to you. I know lots of guys that are shorter and they're talented. I mean, my brother's shorter than me. I'm taller. He didn't get the height like I did. He's got a great personality. He's a good dancer. People like him. He always did well with girls. He's very natural. He's, he's not needy. He's, so... You know, it's that sort of answer again. It's you know, are you working on yourself? You're ready. You're you're so you're ready. You are ready, Dan. You're welcome, Dan. Uh, I'm 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 happy to hear that. That's great, man. That's the whole point of the teaching that people get the results. So today's video is simple. It's just about enjoying what you do, enjoying speaking to women, uh, and you find the joy by taking the pressure off yourself. And stop listening to all of these pressures that men have on them, that we have to sleep with lots of women. We've got to be successful. We've got to be movie stars. We've got to be ambitious. You can be all that. But you ain't going to endure that if you're putting um, like a, a ransom on your head. You know, you're kind of blackmailing yourself. If I don't get that, I'm a loser. I've got to change that conversation. If I don't get the girl, I'm a winner. If I don't get the girl, I still love who I am. I've got my family. I, I've got my values. I've got my personality. I've got my right on this earth. God made me. No one's better than me. I'm not better than anyone. She's not better than me. What, do you think she doesn't take a shit? She doesn't take a piss? Or he? They're not better than me. They can think what they want. But fundamentally, no one's better than anyone. Change is everything. So, yeah, um... And then all these things allow you to be yourself more. You know, you can be yourself in front of people, in the go, live stream, have fun. And, um, and then you get present, you know. When, you know, when you're enjoying something, you, you're you not thinking so much about the next thing or what people are thinking about you. How am I looking? Constantly wondering what other people are thinking about you. Do they think you're good? Do they like you? It just all goes out the window and you're just clear and happy and relaxed. This is a great place to be at.
And all of you can be at that place if you choose to practice it. Um, anyone want mentorship? Anyone do coaching with me? Um, weekend program, six weeks program, email me. I'm friendly. I'm open. I'm honest. I'm direct. If I can help you, I can. If I can't, I can't. Uh, and if you think I can help you, uh, then get in touch with me. Let's do a Skype. Let's speak. Uh, I'll give you my phone number. You can give me a call. We can get to the bottom of what's holding you back and help you to get results with women and with life. And I can teach you to do that. Uh, sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that your ex cheated on you, left you for another girl. I'm so depressed. It's not nice. Uh, it happens. Happens to obviously you. It's happened to me. Happened to a lot of people. My my best advice is maybe it's not always what people want to hear. You're going to have to go through some pain and mourning because you're human, and I wouldn't expect otherwise. And then you got to find joy in your life again and happiness in yourself. Uh, and then you'll meet someone else and you'll get over it. But I'm not saying it's easy. It's not easy, but it is able to get over it. I've gotten over it. been hurt many times by a woman, been hurt by people. Uh, at some point you want to, you know, it is life though. I say to men all the time and women that you, you can't go in, in into life thinking I don't want to get hurt by anyone because I don't want to hurt anyone. I'm sure you don't, but it's going to happen from time to time. But you learn from it, you grow. Uh, you continue. You meet someone else. I'm sure you're a good, you're a good uh, person. Um, but yeah, of course, it's not, it's not nice. But uh, that's my advice. It's straight. It's brutal. Um, you're gonna have to go through what you're feeling. Uh, get some support. I'm sure you got your friend, your family. Speak to one of your friends. Watch a film. Take your mind off it. Laugh. Go out. You'll meet someone else. Uh, you know, uh, many other guys will find you attractive. I tell men this as well. So I'm um, finding joy. My whole talk's been about finding joy. And uh, I'm certainly someone who can uh, be telling people this because I've suffered in my life as well. I've been depressed. I've also been very happy and successful in all different ways. And then I've also been unsuccessful. What I'm trying to say to people is a lot of it's just the way that you think about things. And if you put pressure and say, I need to get this. If I don't get this, I'm not good enough. Then you're never going to feel good enough. But if you say, I want to get it and I'm do the best I can, if I don't get it, okay, that's fine. I'm not going to die. And that goes on. Enjoy it. Enjoy the process. And then things start working out. What happened to my Christian videos? Uh, I decided to, uh, um, I decided not to do them anymore. And I enjoyed them while I did them. And uh, so that's that. So uh, sometimes the things that you do, there is going to be a time. You might enjoy something for five years and then you realize this is not for me anymore. Then you move on to something else. I was saying that earlier to men, all women. There's lots of things that you can find in your life that you can really enjoy. Um, and you can choose to enjoy something if you really want. The challenge for you're welcome, Melissa. The challenge for most people is that they let their mind take over, they let their emotions take over and then say, Oh, I hate that. I hate this person. Or I hate this every day. I hate this result. I hate how this feels. And then it gets worse instead of saying, well, what do I love? What do I appreciate? And if you can appreciate the small things, anything, watching a video, playing a video game, going for a walk, speaking to a friend, eating some food, going to the gym, uh, cleaning your house, uh, putting on a jumper, putting on a, I was going to say putting on a dress. If you're a woman, a dress. I'm assuming most of you guys don't want to wear a dress. If you do that, that's your choice. <laughs> um, it, simple. Enjoy the process. So I'm going to finish up in a couple of minutes. Any more questions, uh, let me know. Just let you guys know as well. Uh, my event is going to be great next week. A lot booked up on it already. So you're welcome to come. It's free. It's called Take Action. It's all about finding joy, facing fear in your life, building confidence, connecting with the right people, uh, fulfilling your purpose in life, facing your deepest fears, and having fun as well. Well, we've got 24 people today connected on the live stream. That's great. I've had like 32 before. Uh, but like I said earlier, not putting pressure on yourself. Like I said today, I was going to come onto the live stream and start putting pressure on myself because I, I can do that sometimes as well. And I teach this to people around the world, these teachings and concepts, successfully for eight years now, almost a decade. And um, a lot of times I don't know how I do it, and I don't want to know how I do it because it's something natural. 
And we don't always have to know every intricacy of how do I do this? How do I get a result? Just enjoy it and then it, it works out. It's got a great mystery to the universe and people and relationships and, and success. And it's just it just has a way of working out. Um, I don't know. I, I can't explain all of it. And I'm sure everyone else can't. But at a certain level, you get it. And it's intuitive and it's emotional. And, and you know it. Kids know it. And you all know it, men, women, old, young. When you just enjoy something, you don't care so much about the result. You want the result, and it's nice to get it. But the joy is so much joy, the result becomes secondary. But what a lot of men and women do, and guys, they put so much emphasis on the result, and then there's no joy. They just hate it. Like, I'm going on a date. I hate it. I hate dating. I hate going on dates. It's going to be a boring person. You ruined it. Instead of saying, I love going on dates. I'm excited. I might meet a great person. Change of mindset. And it's also about being grateful, good attitude. So um, if you like the live stream, great. If you didn't like the live stream, still great. I don't mind. I enjoyed it. I feel like I gave a lot of good value. And I had fun. I had fun for an hour. And if you like my video, subscribe to my channel. If you want, you can tell a friend about it. The videos are getting viral anyway. And it helps a lot of people. And I'm really grateful for that. I don't feel like I'm doing much, to be honest, in a sense. I'm very grateful that people are really appreciative of my work and they get inspired. It helps them to build confidence. It gives them hope. It makes them laugh. It, it, it helps them in many ways. But it's no skin off my nose, you know. When are you next uploading an infill video? Um, probably next couple of weeks. And it's going to be a really good one because... Like I said, I'm not going to do the videos for the sake of it because I want to be cool or I want to, to, for any negative reason, I'm only doing it for the love and the joy because I want to inspire people and I want to have fun myself, which I will. So to answer your question, I've been trying to get a camera in the last couple of weeks. They've been busy, which is, I've been fine with that as well. Probably next next week or so, a couple of weeks uh, after my talk. And by the way, I'm rebranding, so my videos are all going to be... Um, really professionally shot and sound and so forth so yeah uh, hey Mahesh thanks so much oh, awesome man I hope I'm going to see you at the event next week you booked the good looking intelligent ladies high standards they have more choice so more chance to get rejected half true um, depends depends where you're at if you're good looking if you're intelligent if you love what you do if you're passionate about your life you become one of them you become a valuable Thanks, JB. See you at next event. When is it? You're very welcome. It's next Sunday. Um, so just email me. I'll give you the address. You're very welcome to come. Um, email me at johnnybub8agm.com. It's called Take Action. And it's all about the things that are relevant to you guys. Fun, joy, confidence, overcoming social anxiety, meeting the right people, finding what you're passionate about in your life and making new friends as well. Sorry, I, I totally wrote the wrong email there. I screwed up. No worries. Again, no, that we're hard in itself. So, J O H N N Y B E R N C A at gmail.com. This is my email address. If anyone wants to book on my free event, or if you want to take any coaching with me, um, then be in uh, touch. So, um, we're going to end this live stream now. I've done an hour, I enjoyed it. I hope you get a lot out of this video. It really helped me a lot in my life. And I'll see you on the next live stream. And if you need to contact me, you've got my email address. And I'll see you next. And enjoy the process, all right? Have a good weekend. Bye.